We are once again at one of our favorite places, the Butterfly Rainforest at the Florida Museum of Natural History. With us is Jared Daniels, the director of the McGuire Center. Jared, good to see you again, good to see sir. You, Zach. It's so beautiful in the Butterfly Rainforest. It is truly. It's a recreated tropical rainforest it is. with over a thousand free flying butterflies. We have birds in here, we have fish in the water, we have turtles in the water and just thousands of flowering plants around us. You do butterfly releases too, don't you? We do daily butterfly releases at 2 p.m. and on weekends at 2, 3, and 4 p.m. You can actually see a whole bunch of them all at one time. They can land on you in the whole bit. It's great. And the Butterfly Rainforest has been here over 10 years. Correct. It's really become a community place. Mm -hmm. And that butterfly liked you, I could tell. Is there any other ways that we can help support the Florida Museum of Natural History, the Butterfly Rainforest, the McGuire Center? A daily plant sale, so if you like wildlife friendly plants, great plants. you can go online and, and, and look at the plants we have for sale that week. Oh. It's a great way of encouraging kind of wildlife friendly practices in your own backyard. We have gift shops, a butterfly dedicated gift shop. I love the gift shop. You can buy a membership to the Florida Museum of Natural History and then you can get into the Butterfly Rainforest and the temporary exhibits for free, which is a great deal. This exhibit changes a lot through time, so mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. come one month and you come back a different time, there'll be different butterflies to see, the landscape changes through time, so it's not just a one-stop visit. Let's there talk is. about the rearing lab. What happens over there? That's where we receive the butterfly pupae, so we, we get shipments in every week, uh -huh. about 800 to 1,000 pupae, uh -huh. and so visitors can see the butterflies actually emerging from their chrysalis, which yep. is absolutely wonderful. They make their way into the Butterfly Rainforest exhibit, mm -hmm. and that's, that sort of feeds a kind of a pipeline for the production of butterflies in here. We have a large public gallery that has you know, displays of collections, and then you can also view the collections through glass. You can have views into the research labs, so you can see preparators pinning specimens. You can see scientists working behind the scenes. So the McGuire Center has one of the largest global collections of butterflies. Yeah. So it really is the kind of the epicenter for butterfly research around the globe, right here in Gainesville. Let's talk about the other exhibits here at the Florida Museum of Natural History. You can go through the cave, this perpetual, you know popular exhibit. We have you know a series of other permanent halls like right. the Hall of Florida Fossils. Fantastic. There's always something to come and explore that's new here at the Florida Museum of Natural History. But Elvis always remains. He does, yes. <laughs> he certainly does. So we're open daily from 10 to um, 5 p.m. and then mm -hmm. Sundays from 1 to 5 p.m. Go on to the Florida Museum website and also when you go to the McGuire Center portion of that site you can actually see webcams of the butterfly rainforest. You can see kind of a canopy cam. You can go into the rearing lab and see the butterflies that are actually emerging that cool. day. So you can participate virtually as well. Well, I for one am very thankful to have the resource of the McGuire Center, the Florida Museum of Natural History, and the Butterfly Rainforest. Well, thank you very much. Now I'm going to go play with some butterflies, okay? Awesome.